how to limit Google form responses to one response per respondent. Now that was a mouthful, but anyways, I will show you step by step how to do this and achieve this. Um, but before that, I just need to let you know that there's no guarantees when it comes to this. The only way that this Google forms is going to track the person is by their Gmail. So a person could potentially, um, have like 10 other Gmail accounts that he has and actually can use them uh, without, you know, it's just going to be another response. It's not going to limit that. Uh, but if one person sticks to one Gmail account, then they won't be able to, resp uh, you know, submit more responses, basically. Uh, and if uh, also on the other side of the spectrum, you have people who don't have Gmail accounts, if that's the case, they won't even be able to fill the form because they will be required to sign up uh, or sign in to their Gmail account. So if they have Hotmail or whatever it may be, Outlook, it's not going to work for them uh, from as far as I know. So let's just go ahead and discuss how to actually achieve this. So first, you will need to just go ahead and open up the form that you want this to work in. I'm just going to use this example form that I have. Uh, which is this one. And once you just open up your form, what you need to do is um, just go to the settings tab on the top here, where you will have questions, responses, and just go to settings. Now from the settings tab, what you need to do, just go ahead and go to the responses section, uh, manage how responses are collected and protected. You want to just click on the arrow next to it. And then from here, what we need to do is pretty much, you have a few options, but what are we going to be using is this one right here, which is limit to one response. And this, as you can see, requires sign in. So just go ahead and turn this on. And now basically, whenever someone tries to fill in this form, they will need to actually sign in now. Now I'll show you exactly what I'm trying to say here. If someone, uh, or if I just go ahead and click on send, I mean, uh, and copy this link over here. And instead of just opening it from this tab, let's just go ahead and open up a new uh, incognito tab so we don't have an account here and just go ahead and paste it in and hit enter and i just want to try to sign in because i'm in the uae it does say it in arabic but it does pretty much say that i need to log in in order to actually fill this form i'm not sure why it says this in arabic let's just try to translate it to um, English. You can see here, log in to continue. You must you must be logged in to fill out this form. Your identity your identity will remain anonymous. So I need to actually log in in order to achieve this. And as you can see, once I click on log in, it's going to take me to Gmail because there's no other way about it. You will need to have a Gmail account. So this is pretty much how to limit. Uh, responses from a respondent to only one with this option so i can just go ahead and turn it off for now but you get the idea but like i said some people could have multiple gmail accounts and use them to respond to your form if they truly want to know you uh, but that's completely up to them so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching